Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have a very, very, very special one for you. And that is the unboxing of Final Fantasy XV Collector's Edition. But not just any Collector's Edition, this is the Ultimate Edition. So I gotta start off by saying that there were only 30,000 of these produced worldwide. Originally it was even less than that, I think it was 20,000 or 15,000 and then they, they upped the production when they sold out literally in minutes. So while I would love to lie to you and say that I purchased this, I was one of the lucky ones, no actually that did not happen at all. Square Enix actually donated this to the channel for us to do an unboxing video, but unfortunately the game got held up in customs and so because of that it's coming to you now, which is way, way later than it should have been, but I only just received the game. So major kudos goes out to Square Enix. This was pretty bloody awesome. So what do you get? Well, you get this giant, massive box. Very, very difficult for me to actually do an unboxing video like this just because of the sheer size of this. So what we'll do is I'm going to show you this. I'm going to flip it around and it's heavy. So you got your, your team there, it says Ultimate Collector's Edition. Ugh, there's something loose in here, so I hope something isn't broken. Um, just, you know, your little stats up on the corner there, it says if, it's basically, uh, what does it say? No refund if seal is broken. You got the beautiful, look at the dust on this thing, I just unboxed it. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy XV, I really like, look at that nice logo and everything. And then of course on the other side, you hear it? something loose in here okay so that's that and also included were these these i was gonna say this these and these are little postcards so let's open this up should be able to do this I'd, ideally i'd like to keep this in here if at all possible unless so here we go Dun dun dun! The backs are going to be the same for all of them. So we have this. Just the fellas hanging out in their car. I'm very excited to try this. Been a long time Final Fantasy fan. I'm sure all of you know that. The demo was pretty cool, but wasn't wasn't amazing. Okay, so. Can I get these back here with these, or do I do this off camera later on? Let's find out. Um, but yeah, so the, 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 the demo was okay. I, I didn't think, some people were like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Yeah, got it. Okay, perfect. Um, but I just thought it was okay. So I'm hoping that this, um, the game itself is, is better. Oh. Jesus. Oh, it's one of these. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. It's uh, one of these where you have to pull. So I don't know if I can get this off. Okay, let's see. Can I do this without making a damn mess? Probably not, eh? No. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video, get rid of this. Okay, well, with some much finagling, I was able to remove the sticker. As you can see, I didn't want to push my luck and damage the box, so there's still some little bit of residue here, um, and a little bit like over here, but whatever. It's, it's off. Woohoo! I also slipped these two uh, things here so we can finally open this up. All right. And I'm going to assume that this is, yeah, I knew it. Okay. So this is going to be in its own box. I don't know if we'll be able to do this easily. I sure hear a lot of stuff rattling around. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So... There it is. All right. Very cool. So I don't know if you can actually see that, but it says Final Fantasy XV Ultimate Collector's Edition. 
And here we go. Okay, so we have a, a, I don't know what's wiser here, so just give me a, okay, so we have multiple boxes. Um, I'm going to do it like this, and we'll see if I can, seems to be two, yeah, okay, so we have two huge boxes, so I'm going to remove them one at a time. All right. Sorry about this guys, just got to make some room here. Okay, so we had this box and we also had this box. So these were the two boxes that were contained inside. So we have the Noctis um, action figure from Play Arts. Now I wanted to do something a little bit different here. I wanted to introduce you all to Play Arts. You see, Play Arts has a history with Square Enix. This is the Play Arts Dragon Quest VIII figure. There were four of these that were released uh, back in the day, and I'll, uh, I'll be highlighting these when I do my Dragon Quest VIII video um, on the 3DS in late January, early February, but you can see I never took them out of the box because I really like them just like this. I have them displayed, you know, something like that, obviously, with the window open here. You can shine a light down on them and they really, really look nice. So I'll just tease you with one other one. I have all four, but I don't want to show you them all right now. There's Yangus. Okay, so they make really high quality action figures. They're, they're really, really nice. Okay, so with that little introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy before we open this up. And I'm sure there's going to be some codes and stuff like that, so we'll have to, um, we'll have to be careful. Really like this box too, it's friggin' nice, Jesus. No idea how any of this opens. Ah, like that. Okay. So here we go. This, I mean, this feels like a figure. This is what's loose. All right. So you just got some stuff in the back. All right, let's open this bad boy up. If he's totally sealed, he will be staying sealed because that's just the way I do this. Oh, wow, he's a big guy. Okay. So it's two layers, okay. So what the hell is rattling? This is what's rattling around. This is all taped up. What in the hell? Sorry guys, it's just like scotch tape overload here. Okay, let's move him aside. What in the hell is all this? There we go. Get rid of the damn tape. Okay, so what do we have here? This... Okay, so it's a stand. That's what this is. Yeah, okay, you see? I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna take this out. Uh, but basically it's a stand that will hold the figure you can see it sort of, um, sort of right there. See, and the the this is essentially what you're building. So it's essentially a ramp that'll hold in and hold the figure. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so we should be able to. Oh, we have a little screw. That's what was probably flying all over the place. I'm wondering if there's like a little hole in here or something. Well, what I'll do is I'll put it in with like maybe the hands or something like that later. Anyway, whatever. Oh, it's this too. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Dropping everything here. So this. Okay. Goodness. So we have one two, three, 
four, and I'm assuming the screw was just like that. I hope there isn't another screw. And then we'll just go like that. There we go. All right, so let's see if we can open this up. Because I just like to show you guys the figure. I don't really have space for this right now. So let's take a look at this guy. So here he is, man. So yeah, we can. You can stand him up. He's got some uh, stuff on his butt here. I guess that was just protecting. Jesus, he stands kind of funny. Look at him. He's like tilted back. So he's got quite a few points of articulation, as you can see here. His uh, wrist move. He has. Does this move? Uh, a little bit. Wow, you can get some crazy poses with this guy. Yeah, legs go out. I'm assuming, uh, yeah, just minimal articulation there. But he does have ankle rockers, which is nice. Although they only go up and down, they don't go left and right. Oh no, he does turn the feet, that's good. And I'm assuming the neck, yeah, his head can move all over the place. Very cool. Very, very cool. This is a, a nice, posable figure. You could get him to do some, you know, some pretty cool stuff. This, I, I was curious about this particular one because of this figure. So when I have my, um, when I have my, my place ready, there we go. That's how you'd get him to stand normal, so he doesn't look so all out of way. I'm going to be able to pose this guy quite nicely. Now, some of the weapons here apparently are um, are unique to this set, so I'm not sure. I think it was this. I think this nice lance here is um, is unique to this set. Also has this wicked sword. Just overall, very, um, very nice figure. The decaling, if you look really close here, you can see very, very nice. Just good figure, very, very nice figure. This is what you're paying for, by the way. And then he has a whole wide assortment of left and right hands, and these you just pop them off, and you can, um, you know, pose him in however you like. They're on just like a little peg that just pops off. Very cool. All right, cool. So what I'll do is I'm going to leave him out. I'll leave him out like this. Just put him up in the corner. Can you guys still see? Yeah, you can still see. And now what we'll do is we'll try and take a look at this behemoth of another box. I just got to make sure. Okay, yeah, very cool. All right. So we have this. This is really nice. I really like this. Check this out, man. You get all this wraparound beautiful art. And this opens up. Whoops. This opens up like this. And the art continues here. Now, what's neat is if you open this. Come sa. You'll see that you have two different discs and then this big giant book. So if we were to remove these, put that over there, and then slide out this giant book, which I'm sure is the art book. Just want to see if there's anything else in here, but no. And it's glued in place. Okay, so no, nothing else. But man, look at that sexy box. God, is that nice. That is friggin' gorgeous. Okay. Man, I have like put that right there. Jeez. That's sexy. So here you have the art book. Which this will go ahead and open that up. Want to take a look and see. And I almost lost my knife. Whenever you do this, you got to be mighty careful. There we go. 
Wow, this is sick. Very nice set. Very nice. May not be a statue, but it's damn nice. So here we go. 15. The Art of Final Fantasy 15. And then you have that nice little thing. So we're just going to very, very quickly, you know, I can some of the different characters. This game looks sick. Let's see here. That was where I started. Some of the different locations. Dungeons. No idea. Ooh. Very cool stuff. I, I, I've got to go through this because this is right up my alley. This is really, really nice. All right. Put that over there. And then we have these two things. So you've got the Brotherhood Final Fantasy 15 Ultimate Collector's Edition and King's Glaive, what is it? King's Glaive? Glaive? Whatever, I don't know. And uh, Final Fantasy 15, and then the soundtrack. So again, I'm just gonna pull this out. Yeah, good thing I did because there's a whole whack load of codes and stuff like that. Okay, just give me one second so I can put all this in order. The official guide and what the hell is this from the team and then yeah so there's some DLC codes and stuff okay I'm just gonna remove this make it easier all right so here you go so you have this blu-ray disc of the movie and then you have Final Fantasy 15 and it comes obviously in this nice steel case book really nice stuff and then on this side if I remove again And here, so we have this soundtrack, and we have Brotherhood. I don't know, really know what the hell this is. So this is the soundtrack, and another movie? Yeah, another movie. I haven't really paid much attention. And then, of course, the steel case. So this steel cases would be of the, the, the core group, I'm assuming. Can you guys get a... Yeah, you can see that. There it is. So that's it. There's a look at the Final Fantasy 15 Collector's Edition. Um, really, really nice stuff. This is, I said Collector's Edition, but the Ultimate Collector's Edition. Really, really good stuff. Really, uh, really happy with this purchase, actually. And like I said, the reason why I'm happy with this purchase is because I didn't purchase it. Wah, wah, wah. So a huge thanks goes out to... Square Enix USA. This was phenomenal, guys. This was really, really cool. Really uh, unfortunate what happened with it getting, um, you know, delayed um, through customs. But either way, really appreciate this. We will have a full review of this in the coming weeks and months once I actually get around to, uh, to finishing it. But overall, extremely impressed with this one. Um, I'd love to tell you to go out and pick it up, but unfortunately it's sold out worldwide and it's fetching insane prices on eBay. So thank you very much for watching this unboxing video and let me know what you guys are thinking of Final Fantasy XV at this particular point in time. And well, I guess as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching everyone.